Good afternoon everyone, my name is Benjamin and welcome to another video and today I want to be talking about confirmation hearings and how they should work and exist, um, specifically talking about Supreme Court confirmation hearings. And of course you can read the headline and all this stuff. Um, and at the end of the day, um, I'm going to close this, sorry about that. At the end of the day, what we have to do is recognize that the modern confirmation hearing process is unfortunately a farce and it is just political theater for the sake of political theater. Um, and it's been that way for a while. Um, it's been that way since at least the early 90s when George H.W. Bush appointed Clarence Thomas and then the Senate Judiciary Chairman found a rumor of some form of I'll say sexual abuse uh, between Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill that there was some allegations of that could not be proven, certainly not within a court of law. And may I remind people that the uh, Senate Judiciary Chairman was Joe Biden. And, of course, Clarence Thomas had his famous line uh, that it was a high-tech lynching. Um, the full clip is available on YouTube, by the way. Um, but the way it should work is that justices, potential justices, should be asked questions about what is your judicial philosophy? How did you come to that judicial philosophy? Have you, how have you refined that philosophy over the years? How do you apply that philosophy when you're making a ruling on a case? How do you determine which cases that you would take up? What's your opinion regarding precedent? When do you believe it is fair to overturn precedent? Stuff like that. Those are the questions that should be asked. And if you want a good example of what a hearing should be, well, actually, I can't think of a good one in recent memory. And the truth is, Confirmation hearings haven't really been effective at doing anything other than politicizing the Supreme Court. Prior to that, and by the way, that's especially with the advent of television being allowed at these, you know, television cameras. Before that, generally speaking, the Senate was just there to give a rubber stamp to any appointees and that if the Senate rejected an appointment it was generally considered a very it was considered to be a very controversial appointment it was also considered to be a very bad appointment and typically there was a very good reason why the Senate rejected an appointment. Nowadays, the whole thing has become political. And there's a good video by Reason that explains just how useless these confirmation hearings are. And it is 
a somewhat sarcastic video of what should have happened during the Brett Kavanaugh confirmation hearings. So, at the end of the day, I want these confirmation hearings to actually work. I want these confirmation hearings to be useful. And I want to see actual, and here, actual useful questions and, of course, answers. The problem is senators love asking hypotheticals because they only think in hypotheticals because they think in political terms. And of course, justices are never going to answer a hypothetical because if they were to answer a hypothetical, well, then they have to rule that way in any case regarding it. And personally, I think that's wrong. If you say you're going to rule one way during a hearing, of a, on a, you know, in a hypothetical instance, well, you owe it to the people who confirmed you to actually answer it. But anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to say thank you all to everyone who has uh, done so already, but if you haven't, likes, comments, subscriptions, they always do help, and I greatly appreciate them. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.